the boy. Feel. November has arrived in the North Woods, a month that can be somewhat unpredictable when it comes to weather, but there's still some good grouse hunting to be had before the weather takes its turn for the worse and winter arrives. It's a Saturday evening, the sun's going down, the air is cool, and there's a slight breeze rolling through the woods. It's almost a picture perfect evening to be following a dog, and my buddy Justin Berkeley and I are doing just that. Where you at, Justin? Okay, keep moving up. The action kicks off when Yeti starts trailing something. He works slow, I'm following close behind, and these moments are some of the most thrilling opportunities when you know the dog is working something and you're right there along for the ride waiting to hear wings take flight. Yeti keeps moving up, and I stay back to let him work the bird. Eventually he locks up on point, and I make my way to him. If you're a rough grouse hunter, you know it's not always an easy and quick path to get to the dog, so a lot of times it's like walking on pins and needles while trying to catch up. This turns out to be a woodcock, and woodcock season is closed at this point in the year, but nonetheless, always an adrenaline rush when the dog is working like this. Woodcock. Justin's dog Forrest goes on point now, and we make our way to him where the dogs decide to move up because they think the bird is running on us. We've got both dogs working here with us now, and it doesn't take long before Forrest pins the bird down in front. He's got it here. With Forrest on point, I approach and the bird gets up with a pretty good shooting opportunity, but I couldn't catch up and the bird keeps flying. We head in the direction the bird went and I get a second crack at it when Yeti goes on point. But once again, I am humbled by the king as he makes his escape. I've got Yeti on point again here, so with two previously missed opportunities, the third one has to be the charm. Whoa.
Good boy. Fat cheer. Good boy. Heel. Good boy. Give. Give. Good work, buddy. Nice. We'll take that. It's been a long day of hunting. Good work, man. Skunk's out of the bag on this run now, and I've got a little confidence back in my shooting, but it didn't last for long when I missed another bird, but we head in that direction where it flew to see if we can get a follow-up on it. I was just about ready to pull the plug on this bird and call Yeti off when he goes on point, and you know what they say, always trust your dog. Good boy, dead bird. Good boy. Yeti, bring. Good boy. Good work, man. Heal. Good, good. Give. Good work, buddy. Good work. We put this bird up a first time down the hill. Threw lead at it twice, came back up here where it went. He pointed it again, the bird got up and I hit it on the first shot and I sent a insurance policy shot on the second one. Good boy. Just after Yeti makes the retrieve, I change directions to try and make my way back to Justin, but Yeti locks up on point again behind me and just when I turn around, the bird takes flight and I knew my shot connected. Whoa, whoa. Neither Yeti or I got a good look at where the bird went down, and he ends up going on point with the bird laying there in front of him. Yeti. Okay, dead bird. Good boy. Good boy. Heal. Good. Give. Ha -ha. Give. Good work, man. Good work. Man, yup. I was... We shot that one bird right back there. And I was trying to get out of the area, and he went back on point, and I turned around, and this bird got up, and I, I knew I hit it on the second shot. Came over where it went down, and yeah, he repointed it again, walked up here, could see the bird was just about expired, and released him. Good work, man. That bird just went down. Right when I meet back up with Justin, he takes a crack at a bird and wasn't sure if it went down or not, but I was pretty sure it did and I had a good line on it. It went over here? Yeah, it went towards, right down around that pine tree. That big one? Yeah. Right. I thought I hit it. For sure, I could tell I hit it on the first one. Yeah, I think it was flapping after it flew away. I saw it doing some funky things and I thought I heard it. Yeah, you got it? Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, he went on point a little bit. Uh huh. He was probably 20 yards from my it laying on the ground. Badass. Yep. There's, that's that five on there? Yep. And there was two that just got up right when Forrest was pointing that dead bird. Yeah, yep. That was a pretty good run, wasn't it? Come here. Yeah. Good boy. That's my boy. <clears throat> it 
It's now the following morning, and my two females, Ember and Aspen, are out for a run together. Whoa. Ember goes on point, and I'm trying to guide Aspen into the zone she's pointing to see if she'll either honor Ember or point the bird as well. Whoa. 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 Ember. Oh, there it goes. That was a really tight sitting woodcock. Good. Good dog. Good dogs. No more action with them after that, so I got Yeti out for a quick run to see what we could find, and he goes on point just off the edge of this trail. I'm circling out in front of him here, and the bird ends up taking flight between the two of us, and as far as looks at a grouse go, I feel like I got a pretty dang good look at this bird, but just couldn't swing the gun fast enough to catch up. Dang it, buddy. I was behind it the whole way. And to add insult to injury, a second bird takes flight and history repeats itself. You guys ready to go hunting? Oh yeah. Ready to go? Moving on, we've got the boys out for our last run of the weekend, so let's see if we can make some magic happen. Whoa. Boys. Yeti. Okay. We're working the edge of a clearing, and Yeti runs back deep into the corner and goes on point. It's pretty thick and gnarly in here, so it takes me some time to get to him, and when I finally do get to him, I have a tough time spotting him. My GPS is telling me I'm basically on top of him, but I just can't pick him out of the shadows. These bright bluebird days are some of the toughest sight conditions in my opinion. The sun casts a lot of shadows and it's tough to see the dogs and tougher to see the birds when they take flight going in and out of all the shadows from the uneven lighting. Eventually the bird can't stand the pressure anymore and takes flight while I'm trying to locate the dog, so once again the king escapes. Damn it. Yeti, come. Yeti and I both had a pretty good bead on where the bird flew, so we headed in that direction. Based on how the bird takes flight is usually how I decide whether to follow up on that bird for a second try or not. If the bird stays relatively close to the ground, let's say it doesn't make it higher than 10 feet in flight, I've noticed they really don't go far and you can usually get on them again. Now if the bird takes off like a rocket into the sky, I usually don't go after them because they'll fly a long ways or land up high in a tree. This bird didn't fly too high when it took off and not too far ahead, yet he's got it pointed again. Whoa. He's on point just at the edge of this hill, and it's a super thick hillside, Whoa. and I know the bird is already aware we're after Whoa. it, so I'm assuming it's Whoa. trying to run on us, and based on how Yeti wants to move on it, I know he's realizing the scent cone is moving. But the thing is, it's so thick in here that I can't really move that fast, so I'm wooing him to slow him down so I can keep up and try to get a good shot when the bird takes flight again.
I had an extremely small shooting window on this bird, so I threw a Hail Mary where I thought it was going to be, and I thought I saw the bird flutter or do something strange, and sure enough, Yeti comes running back with the bird in his mouth. Good boy! That a boy! Good boy! Good boy! Give! Good work, man! Good work, Yeti! Heck of some good dog work there. Thank you, Yeti. Really nice bird. That's awesome. That's really nice. We initially contacted that bird up there. I got within feet of the dog. I just couldn't find to see exactly where he was. Bird got up. And I didn't have any clear shot. I just got a brief little snapshot of it getting up. Dog went after in that direction. Repointed again, and I knew that bird was moving on us again down this hill So I had the dog stay up top I kind of circled down in front and it got up and I just had the tiniest little window I saw it getting up and I was like I know where the bird's gonna be and I shot where the bird was gonna be You ready? Come on it's now the following weekend and the weather has since changed from our nice mild temps Deal. with blue skies to overcast, rainy, no. and snowy. I've got Deal. Ember out and we're going into a spot Deal. with some pines to hopefully find birds taking cover in them. You ready? Ember. This spot has a lot of beechwood in it and if you've ever heard me talk about beechwood before, I love hunting it this time of year because it's still holding its leaf cover. Just when we make it through all this, Ember goes on point, and I look up and can see the bird sitting in a tree. But it doesn't matter that I got the head start advantage, I still take two shots and couldn't catch up with the bird. I don't know, but come up here and be ready. After that, the weather took a turn for the worse, so we decided to head back to camp and see if it clears up later in the afternoon. The rain and sleet moved out for the afternoon, and I got a pretty good evening of hunting in. We work down this trail, and Ember goes on point on the right side, and while I'm approaching and focusing on her, a bird takes flight to my left. Dead bird. Dead bird. Dead bird. Fetch here. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. You got a mouthful there, girl. Look at you. You got a mouthful. Come on. Fetch here. Good. Heel. Heel. Good. Good girl. No. Good girl. Good dog. Heel. Good girl. Girl, give. Alright. Good work, girl. Nice bird. She was on point just over there. And that must have been where a bird, this bird was earlier or something. And I was watching her and this bird gets up just on this side of the trail over here. Good work. I kind of had a feeling that was going to be a woodcock. 
Good, good girl. Good dog. Good. There it goes. Woodcock. Good. Good. Final couple minutes of daylight here, and I've got Aspen out. She goes on point at the bottom of this hill. She's holding steady, and my heart is racing pretty good as I make my way down and approach her. But as I get closer, I notice she's looking up in this tree, so I shift my focus up there, and it ends up being a porcupine up there. So, a little bummed out she didn't have a grouse pointed, but this situation could have been a lot worse. Well, <clears throat> at least you're pointing it. I'll give you that, girl. You got me excited for nothing. Well... I'm glad you're up there, buddy. Aspen, here. Come on. We're gonna get away from this. Let's go. Damn. Thank you for being in a tree. And thank you for pointing it. Conditions are not ideal today. But what else do we have to do? go run dogs and look for grouse. It looks like winter is starting to take its grip on the north country as we woke up to some snow. So not the most ideal conditions for grouse hunting, but young dogs have to learn that not every day is picture perfect. Aspen goes on point and it turns out to be a woodcock. So while I was hoping this was gonna be a grouse, I will gladly accept the dog getting some bird work in on a day like this. Oh, another woodcock. <laughs> She's getting a little frustrated. Wants the bird. Man, I was thinking... I had my fingers crossed it was going to be a grouse sitting under one of these blowdowns here. But... That's all right, we'll take it. Dog's having some fun on a pretty crappy day. Oops, she must have bumped it up again. Ember gets a go in this weather now. So again, on a day like today, just hoping to get the young dogs on a few birds in a situation like this. Ember goes on point out in the middle of this thicket, and it's taking me a minute to try and circle out in front of her. Oh, another stinking woodcock. There it goes. Good. Good. And that's a wrap on our November 2021 grouse season. Once again, Mother Nature kept to her script of giving us some great hunting weather and some not so nice hunting weather. But regardless of that, it's never a bad day following a dog in the North Woods. Good boy. Heel. There it goes.